Hi, I'm Cider Spider, and I was honored with the chance to participate in Final Fantasy XIV's Dawn Trail Media Tour, an event in which journalists and content creators are invited to check out an early build of the upcoming expansion. So, naturally, I approach the new content the same way I approach everything, with dumb memes and a sense of adventure. So without further ado, I'll show you what I got up to during my time in Tural. Alright. Let's do this thing. Alright, so first things first, we're starting off as a cat girl. That is obviously a problem. We're gonna go ahead and solve that right away. Oh my god, there's other people here. <laughs> Actually, uh, what have we got here? Alright, so we got a pretty modest achievement score. 30 points. Let's... <laughs> We'll have to see what we can do with that, um, 98 Fantasias, so we don't have to commit to anything. Let's go ahead and get this sorted out. Yeah, no idea who was playing this one before me, but, uh, they have bad taste. I gotta be honest, I don't even remember what my character settings are offhand. Yeah, it's all coming together. Alright, here's where things get real. Perfect. There we go, perfect. Okay, let's do this thing. Alright, let's do this. Now's the real fun part where I gotta set my hotbars up. I definitely pride myself in having the worst hotbar setup probably in the entire game. Alright, let's check this thing out. I finally got everything set up. That took forever, but... <laughs> but first things first, let's dig into some actions and traits. So we get Enhanced Chain Strat, which grants impact imminent upon using Chain Strat. So basically it turns us into a damage ability. We get 40 second Swift Cast. That's actually crazy fast. Basic damage upgrades, that's pretty much expected. Um, Sucker turns into Concitation. Recitation goes down to 60 seconds. Now, there's another thing that I thought was interesting which was not mentioned in the job action trailer. This right here. Baneful Impaction. People have been begging for Bane back on Scholar for like 10 years. Lo and behold, there it is. It is an AoE DOT, so they advertised Sage getting one. People were upset that Scholar didn't, but it actually does. It just wasn't mentioned, so let me go see if I I can find something to punch. I think I'm in a... Yeah, we're in a city right now. Alright, we are somewhere. Yeah, whatever, this guy will work. Level 93 bloodsucker. Yeah. Mouse over. Oh, I see. So the Baneful Incitation, that's the one that combos with Chain Strat. So let's check out, uh, yeah, this one. There's the one I've been curious about. Oh, goodness. That is, uh, <laughs> well, there you go. There's our, <laughs> there's our bed sheet. And that is a three minute cooldown. Okay, very interesting. But, anyways, let's uh, hang out with our boy over here and have a look at something that is much more important than scholar abilities. And that is, of course, the achievement. Achievements list. I don't know if we're actually going to get to see much here. I think it's all hidden for spoiler purposes. But I just wanted to roll through here and see if there's anything that stands out. Um, yeah, it seems like they probably haven't loaded the new achievements in here, so we don't get any sneak peeks of uh, what we might be in for. That is uh, equal parts exciting and terrifying. Ah, uh, yeah, so it looks like those have not been carried over into this build. But here's the fun part about uh, being in this thing is <laughs> since nobody has any names, I don't actually know who anybody is. We have to recognize them by their character models. We got a Giga Chad Lancer over here. I wonder who this could be. See if he'll dance with me. How many times you gotta think I gotta repeat this emote before he'll dance with me? I'm just gonna fill the whole chat with this. I don't care. <laughs> What's the most annoying thing I can do? Do I have any, uh, I should have picked the ugly voice. 20 minutes in, I'm already trying to troll people. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's look around a little bit. Oh, who have we here? Wait, come back. Dance. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Come on, you can do it. No one will dance with me. This is depressing. All right, let's uh, let's let's go bother somebody else. No, we got a fellow scholar out here. Scholars stick together, maybe. Come on, there's got to be one person in this place. I'm um, guessing I can't. Yeah, nope. Can't check my retainers. This is tragic. Bolagal, uh, this looks like the hunt board. So the city area is really nice, but all we could do here is uh, look around. Um, I think the meat of this thing is going to be in uh, mainly in the combat gameplay. So other than harassing other gamers in here, I uh, don't think we're going to have a whole lot to do. So I'll probably dip into the actual gameplay. <laughs> I do kind of want to take a look around, though. I think it's worth at least 
Kalista, having a quick seeing of the sights. There's a lot of docks here. I, I wonder which one is going to be the, uh, the idle spot, you know? <laughs> one of these piers is going to be the place to be. We just don't know which one yet. I nominate, uh, this one. No particular reason, but there doesn't have to be. Yeah, this one here. This is the spot, guys. If you want to know where to hang out, uh, this will be the one. Calling it now, bunny girlfriend. I'm not giving up on this until somebody dances with me. Come on. <laughs> Come on. No dice. How about this one? No. No, I just can't win. Uh, actually, uh, do we have... We don't have adventurer plates. I wonder if I can create one. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be my next hour. Now, yeah, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Couldn't be updated. Oh no. Oh no, I got scammed. No adventurer plates. Oh, what a shame. I'm not leaving the city until at least one person dances. I can't be the only one. Do the dance, come on. No, oh, close, close. Come on, almost there. <laughs> no response. I guess we're going with the or else option. Uh... Okay. I think I'll I'll consider that a victory. Let's uh let's go ahead and get out to the field zone and uh, look around. I want to see um allegedly there are there are hunt marks out here and so I want to shop around and see if I can find any. I don't know if we got any uh like elite marks like S ranks or if we might have to spawn those, but uh it should be at least like A's and B's. I'm not sure what the hunt guys out here are called though. I'm assuming it's not Clan Centurio. Uh, fun things happening over here. So many gamers are the striking dummies actually, you know, maximizing their time experimenting with the jobs and stuff, and I'm over here trying to dance with people. Let's see what we've got here. Um, can only be executed if your fairy is summoned while in combat. Uh, that's interesting, so can't do seraphism without the, the fairy up. Alright, and that's gonna give us all of our upgraded heal abilities. Oh, but I can... I can just spam them. No, that's really interesting. So that's like, that's super healing intensive. Okay, first things first. Uh, oh, I can't even get Selene. I'm stuck with Aos because I don't have the quest. Oh, what a scam. I guess we're Aos gaming. Anyway, like I said, I wanted to shop around, spot some of those alleged hunt marks. Wow. The zone is just absolutely gorgeous. This looks like a guy that could tell me, uh... Oh no, oh he's got default dialogue. I think we're just gonna have to try our luck. Good excuse to explore the zone anyway, right? So, let's have a look around. And we can, of course, go underwater. Not a whole lot down here, though. I mean, uh, uh, wait, what is that? No, there is a... Uh... There's a bit of a seam in the world. <laughs> but this is a test build. It's not complete, so neither Titan's been here or this is not quite lined up. Let's check let's check the north part of the map, see if I can spot anything. I won't consider my day complete until I've killed at least one hunt mark. It doesn't even matter if it's a B rank, but we gotta get at least one. Oh, there's something. Okay. I guess the question is, uh let's see. If Warrior can do it, then uh we'll know it's fine. It's gotta be at least an A rank looking at it though. Uh, I don't remember what the markers are, but no, I gotta sort my hot bars out again. Oh, okay, I feel like all of my buttons are uh, on the wrong spot, but it's probably fine. I'll just pull this and see what happens. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? If I don't get one-shotted, we're okay. Oh god, he's tough. Okay, uh... Oh, this was a mistake. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm soloing this one, uh, unless... Oh, we've got marching mechanics? I hope this is right. I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm running out of mitts. Oh, God. He just... <laughs> yeah, we're going to need a party for that. We're going to need a party for that. Let's see if I can scam anybody into coming out with me. Shouting in town to see if I can scam anybody into coming along. We'll just hope that the shout was good enough. I'm going to go to the zone and shout there. I think there was some people there. Maybe they'll come mess around. No, oh, no party finder. What a shame. Let's, uh, let's just shout the same message again. Someone will come. If you shout it, they will come. All right, all right. Oh, heck yeah. We got an ultralight party. This, uh, this is a scam, by the way. We gonna die. <laughs> Alright, we're doing it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, I'm dead already. Rampart was not enough. <laughs> Ha 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 ha. 
<laughs> we need more gamers. I'm gonna keep shouting. I'm not giving up on this thing. Oh, we got three people here. The party is growing. Really, what I need is like a qualified tank. I'm just memeing on Warrior. I'm not actually good at it. Oh, we got six people. I, I think we could probably do it. Um. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, we are so doing this. If only I had raid food. That's all I'm missing, but I can't go culinary and it's not, it's not unlocked. I don't remember how to make a countdown. No, here we go. No, oh, we're just going. Okay. <laughs> uh, shake it off, maybe. <laughs> I don't think we could shake that off. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I get it. I get the mechanic watch well, after this finishes his casting. There it is. He be gone. Standing too close to provoking the cat. You uh, can't stay out of range or in range until it dies. Your result goes away. Okay, gamers are already figuring out the mechanics. I'm gonna go Scholar and hope for the best. We're gonna let the other guy main tank it. We're gonna want the shields anyway, I think. Also, chain strat is 20 seconds now, which is kind of crazy. Increasing damage dealt standing too close will provoke an attack. Also, this is like the moon mushroom. Okay. Oops. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Forgot about the about face. Get back out here, Celine. I need you still. Oh, sorry, Aos. There's no Celine in the media tour. Oh no, I wasn't supposed to press that button. I'm on my way. I should probably start rezzing people. Man, that 40 second swift cast really uh, makes a difference. I feel like it's just constantly up. It's gonna be good for party finder. <laughs> Frenzied sting. I don't. I don't like the sound of that. Ow. Oh, I'm the tank. Oh no, I don't want to be the tank. There we go. Uh oh. Uh, oh, managed to get away with it. <laughs> Let's get some reses out. We got this. I got swift res. Easy. Oh my god, it's still like 70%, dude. We're, <laughs> we're doing like no damage to this thing. Seraphism time. Let's do this. Put on the bed sheet. No, oh, no. Oh my god, it keeps interrupting my- Oh no! <laughs> so I think we've solved like- it, It's really only got like two or three mechanics. It's basically just like, don't be where the AoE was. It may take all day to defeat this thing, but <laughs> I refuse to quit. Change strat. I don't think we have any kind of buff alignment, but it doesn't really matter. Alright, it's getting cleaner. I think once we get rid of all of our death debuffs, we probably kill it in no time. I'm glad we got a lot of resers. It's making this easier. Man, Seraphism's kind of fun. I just get to use, like, every ability as many times as I want as long as it's up. It's kind of nice. Ooh. Oh! Oh! I forgot. <laughs> there we go again. Remember something for six seconds. Challenge level impossible. All right, fifty percent. This is one place where I feel like sprout mode is almost a benefit because I'm so used to like standing close to the boss. No, no, no. Now I've done it. Let's keep running. Maybe, maybe if I run. No, oh, no, <laughs> no, no. You can't run from it. <laughs> he gets you. <laughs> I wish he would stop shooting me. Da -da -da. Oh, I said always me. Oh, what a jerk. Not I'm doing it. Healing wind. Alright. 20 tombstones of aesthetics. Uh, no, no hunt currency. We got scammed. Alright. I think that makes us the best gamers. Can I Moogle dance? I don't have any dances. No. Now, presumably there's one in the other zone as well. I think there should be two per zone. Oh, yeah, yeah you're right. I that was only the A range. Right. Wait, A rank? There's no way. No. No, that was A rank. That was too simple for an S rank. That's so much health, though. My uh, sources have informed me this was probably an A rank. Now I'm curious where the other one is at, because I thought I had flown around this whole zone. I can't just leave it at one out of four. If we got one of the A ranks, I bet I can scam enough people into doing three more of them. At this point, lunch had begun to be served, and so our haphazard crew of A-rank killers marched into the cafeteria to enjoy empanadas and chickens and even more coffee. After a brief yet refreshing meal, I returned to my designated computer with a newfound vigor and plus 10% critical hit. Alright, let's take a look at the uh, two die channels. So let's flip between die 1 and die 2 so we can make that jet black. This one can be royal blue. So that's pretty cool, but there's also this new feature, which is, um, favorite dyes, where you can assign, uh, sets of dye just as, you know, preferred colors, and then instantly choose that. So if you're trying to, like, color match a whole gear set, it looks like it's gonna be a lot easier to do. It's definitely handy, considering how much dye you're gonna go through with, uh, two channels now. Um, yeah, pretty happy with that. It's gonna be interesting to see how it gets applied to older gear sets, but I gotta be careful with this. This could eat up all the rest of my time if I start playing with glams, so we're gonna leave it at that. I'm actually curious to see if I can get into the dungeon. Let me get in shout chat to see if I can find anybody. We've got a DPS. 
There it is. Okay, let's see what we're in for. DPS? Why is that always the DPS? There's not even an excuse this time. No, even in the media tour, DPS just presses Q and walks away. Assuming it's gonna take 30 minutes. Oh no. No, what a shame. Right, here we go. Let's see if the DPS readies up this time. All right. I'm gonna no pressure, kind of pressure the tank. <laughs> Oh, interesting. What's Red Alpha Note doing here? Wee hee hee hee. Let's try that out, Scholar Bane. It's pretty good. It's kind of nice having a use for chain strat outside of just bosses now. It's going to make dungeon pulling a lot more interesting. Oh god, fish! Here's the real fun question is, am I going to have to heal the tank at all? I guess we're going to find that out. Let's see if Aos is up to the task. And there's some rain, it seems. Give courtesy of the blessed siblings. Oh, here we go. Good old Bakulade, man. He's always giving us those gifts. What have we got here? Weaver. kind of want to chain strat again, but I feel like there's going to be a boss fight soon. I might actually have to... Nope, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, I might actually have to heal the tank. I don't know. Let's see. I'm holding out for the next blood wedding. <laughs> no false alarm. No healing today. Boss time? Is our boat really being pulled by a giant fish. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Del Lago. We'll come back for you, I promise. I see they're really getting mileage out of this jungle scenery. Holy crap. The mud, the flowing water, the rain, and all this, like, plants. Like, wow. I'd love to see the side-by-side -side with, like, Vanna Spotty. It's probably the most scenic thing we had in, uh, Endwalker, I think. It's gonna be kind of nice having a 20-second chain strat. That'll make it a lot easier to get the six energy drains in. Somehow, I'm sure I'll still mess it up. All right, simple enough. Oh, here we go. Wonder if we're gonna get any Tower of Zot pulls in here. Nah, it's too bad I don't have Seraphism at this level. I was having fun with it on the hunts earlier. I feel like it's gonna be a really nice get out of jail free button. And I just realized I didn't chain strat. It's gonna be hard getting used to using chain strat as an AoE damage button. Uh, any treasure? <laughs> no treasure. What a shame. Oh, we got a potion. Oh god. It's the frozen night rig from, uh, Dusk Vigil. Even in Dawn Trail, I can't escape Dusk Vigil. <laughs> I'm liking Baneful Impaction, but I do wish I had Bane, because if I could, if I could get Biolysis on everything as well, that would be sick. Look at this dense chad. Drowsy. <laughs> Me too, huh? Me too. There's gotta be a mount version of this, there has to. It's the Elder's rig, so like the Gubu rig. I just met him, but he's like my favorite thing in the world now. Oh my god, he dances. Who would've thought the dungeon boss would be the first person in the media tour to actually dance with me? Drowsy's dance invigorates the roots, so I... Hmm... Seems like I call for expedient, so let's be expedient. Oh, god. No, now I've done it. Look at that, no damage. Turns out in Dawn Trail, taking damage is still cringe. We don't do that. Dance again, let's do this. Wee-hee. You gotta dance with him. Oh, crap. Nah, it was worth it, though. Alright. Nice and easy. Give me some of them potions. Yeah. Going for the high score. No, oh, this is nice. Alright. Let's let Aos do all the work here. It's definitely uh, fun having an AoE application for chain strat. It's just kind of a... The rough part is just that I gotta make sure I time it out well. Because if I throw it at the wrong moment, it won't be off cooldown in time for the next boss. So it makes the dungeon pulls a little more interesting. Oops, I'm standing in things. I should probably not be doing that. Okay, here we go. Apex Predator. Apollyon. Alright, it's good to know Scholar's still OP. I can almost max my health bar and shields. And we're in the base version of the expansion. It took a few patches in Endwalker to be able to do that. I don't know if these numbers are final though, so we'll have to wait and see. Okay, this is reminding me a lot of the great hunt so far. Oh! Feeding on the beast has strengthened up a lion's wing beats. You gotta watch out for those wing beats. Mmm. Uh huh? Okay, I'm sure we don't want him to eat these, but also, I don't know if we can stop him. No, oh, no. Oh crap, he's been working out. Uh oh. Oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> I wasn't ready for the forearms. Got me with the old Popeye spinach trick. Okay. Okay, uh. Eh. Crap. Uh, shield wasn't fast enough. Okay. After our untimely demises, our warrior proceeded to solo the entire remainder of the boss's health bar. This took several minutes. I later learned that my tank was a journalist named James. That's right, I got styled on by a game journo. Although my street cred would never recover, I had no choice but to persevere. And finally it dies? Yay. 
Capcom goes to the Viper for being a Lollafell. Alright, that's looking pretty cool. From what I've been hearing, it sounds like our other A ranks may have despawned. Um, we haven't been able to find any more, so I'm gonna scout around a bit and see if I can find another one. I think I'm going to actually try and play some of the other jobs, though. I've kind of just been memeing around this whole time. I feel like I should actually check out some of the other jobs at 100. Ah, yes, here's the place we want. I might be trapped here for a while. I then proceeded to try out every single job with the new level 100 kits. However, since I don't play most of these jobs currently, my ability to comment on the changes is limited. I decided to omit this section from the video for the sake of brevity, but I might release it as a separate video if you guys are interested in seeing my reactions to all of the new abilities. I think there are several other channels that have better insight into job changes than I do, so I would recommend checking out other media tour videos for detailed breakdowns. Personally, I thought that most of the jobs felt really good, and I was happy with the majority of the toolkits. Viper was surprisingly easy to pick up, and Pictomancer was surprisingly complicated. Anyways, after much time experimenting, I proceeded. Alright, I've tried out all the jobs, we've done the dungeon, I think that's a majority of the things. I even fought an A rank, so I'm gonna just wander around and explore, I guess. Uh, mess around, see what happens. I wanna see if I can uh, slam out a couple of achievements. Yeah, this 30 point score just ain't good enough for me. I wanna try and get this one, 500 enemies. And also, I'm pretty confident I can get this one as well, 10 fate events. Let's go looking for trouble and see what happens, eh? First of all, I'm gonna need Aos. There's no Selene in the media tour, only Aos. Rest assured, I'm furious about it. It feels kind of strange being in a fate event. Synced down, but still having all my 90 kit. I'm not used to that. No oh, man, we've gotta kill a lot of these things. Oh my goodness, I've already forgot my most essential piece of equipment. I upgraded a chain stratagem, that's the one. Yeah, they just melt. Wow, that's great. I need like two kills, maybe three? All right. Oh, what do you know? Bicolor gemstones. Uh, actually, that's really interesting. A lot of people were speculating that the fate currency might change because, you know, with the hunt currency, it's been uh, two expansions per currency, but I'm glad to see it's still bicolor gems because, for one, there's just so many currencies already, but... It'll be nice to still be able to collect gems via Dawn Trail Zones and uh, spend them on pre-Dawn Trail gem shops. So, pretty happy to see that. Hopefully it's not a placeholder. <laughs> oh, there is Shared Fate. Okay. I think we get rank one here. Six Fates, easy. This one on Gunbreaker. Ah, I don't have a dismount button. There we go. Oops, where's No Mercy? I've already forgotten how to play Gunbreaker. This is bad. Oh, look, we have a friend. Yeah, perfect. Oh, look, we have multiple friends. It's okay, I can handle this. Yeah. Man, check this place out. We got a full-on tiki bar over here. That's awesome. Fisher confirmed. Oh my god, it's Vanu Vanu. That's, you know, that's one thing I probably would have liked to never see again. Let's see what, uh, Munohanu's got to say. Welcome to Tural. What do you know? What a coincidence. That's what, uh, every NPC has said to me so far. Looks like I'm not the only shared fate chat out here. All right, let's not get left in the dust, eh? Well, oh, these gamers are in queue. <laughs> that explains a lot. Hope they're not waiting on a tank. Let's see, will the queue actually show us? Adventure and need tank. Yeah, it looks like tanks are actually the problem. Alright, let's go machinist this time. I'm glad we still have scatter gun. It's the best thing we've gotten in a long time. Also, our weaves are these wacky turrets, so we just utterly bombard everything. Truly glorious. Also, I can safely say no leave quests in the media tour. It doesn't mean there are none in the expansion, but there are none that are accessible to me right now. I did want to test them out, but no. We don't have access to those yet. Which makes sense. There are no crafters in this build. Like, these characters don't have access to any crafters or gas. It's really depressing. I gotta go back to a mender. Do you know how long it's been since I've talked to a mender? Uh-oh. I might have overpulled this. Uh, nah, we're fine. Who needs heals when you have damage? Uh, nah, sad. I don't have the drill combo at this level. Ooh, Forlorn Maiden. Easy. Let's see. Countless men have fallen victim to Sayona, a vengeful spirit who lures her quarry deep into the forest before brutally maiming them. Her tortured soul must be granted eternal rest or Kozama Uka will never know peace. Alright, well, I think I am just the man for the job. Uh, what are we gonna do this on? Let's give Warrior a spin. I don't know about soloing a boss fate on DPS. Depending on the fate, sometimes you just don't have the sustain. So, what if I just eat this? What's it actually gonna do? Nah, no, nah, no, basically nothing. Do I have to dodge any of these? Nah, no, this one's got terror. I at least have to dodge that one. Good to know. The Void Fire, not so much. If all it does is damage, then it's clearly a mechanic for healers. No, that's the... Whoops. She will eventually die. I think this one was scaled for the uh, amount of people we had here previously. And Felcleave. And Primal Rend. And 
That thing. <laughs> okay, problem solved. 24 gems on that one. Yeah, the bicolor gem count seems way up. It's gonna have interesting implications for the uh, market, I think. I believe in Endwalker, the most you get is like 14. So getting over 20 on a single fate is gonna be crazy for farming like the uh, Weaver Mounts and whatnot. Bagna Brock Crafty Thoughts. Now that sounds like a gentleman I definitely need to go talk to. Let's see what's going on over there. All right, pal, what's your deal? Outlander is a keen fighter, yes, Bagna Brock has a help task for you. Oh boy. Love help tasks. The ground here is rich with craft clay, but the mushrooms have multiplied. Too many mushrooms will turn their clay into plain old dirt soil. <laughs> yeah, and we can't have that, can we? Alright, let's do it. Ain't that just delightful. Look at that. <laughs> Such glorious destruction. No, I've already done half the thing. I'm running out of mushrooms to kill, actually. Oh no. I've been throttled. There's something weird about these mushrooms, I must say. These are a little sus. Three seconds to impact. Here we go. Oh man. Bro like dominoes. We are so done. Perfect. Yay, the craft clay is saved. That's why I'm the warrior of light. No, no. This is a chain. A huge hulking beast. Oh, now we've done it. Alright. Please tell me that's all. Where'd What's-His-Face go? He ran away and left me here. What a chump. Let's check our progress some. Not so, um, far on the enemy slain thing. We can work on that, but... But ten fates I think we can do. We're two away. I spotted a B-rank over the hill I wanted to go take out. We'll do that next. Let's see. A swarm of paper wasps has established a colony on the outskirts of the Earthenshire. Stave off their unsightly stingers, or the buzzing may well drive the moblins mad. Well, can't drive me mad, I'm already mad. Yeah, there it is. I tell you, it's a good day to be a warrior. Although I don't know if there's a such thing as a bad day to be a warrior. I guess the first tier of Endwalker was a little iffy. Alright, nice and easy. That should put us up to 9 out of 10. I want to go check out that B rank, though. Assuming it's still there, huh? Stupid man Goblin Town. Look at these goobers. What do you think Prestapix got to say? I'll give you three guesses. Welcome to Tyrol. <laughs> yeah, you know, let's go ahead and mend my gear. Support the local economy. Alright, over here by where that last boss fate was at. I definitely passed by a B rank. Let's see if it's still here. Oh, yeah, it's this guy. I think? Yeah, it is. It's a birdfish? But then there's this guy. Birdfish, but slightly bigger. I don't know if this is like a placeholder? No, yeah, no, he's just like slightly larger version of the same thing. Actually, it might even be the same size. I assume it's a placeholder. But let's go ahead and beat him up for posterity. See what happens here. That's just a B rank, so it's not really gonna be anything special. How much does this hurt? Yeah, not really at all. Water three. This is a far cry from that A rank we were fighting earlier. I mean, we're standing in three feet of water fighting, and his best defense mechanism is to throw three more feet of water at me. Lo and behold, it does not hurt that much. I like this guy's animations, though. Look at him. He, like, gets in your face and slaps you a little bit. Watch him. Wee. <laughs> Good old fish bird. You could say this fish is... Foul. Alright, let's get out of here. One more fate event. Widowmaker's looking a lot worse since Overwatch 2. What's up with that? No, here's our other Aetherite town. Many fires. It is also goblins. Sorry, moblins. Let me speak correctly. I see this zone has got all the best parts of Heavensward in it. To the north... Vanu Vanu. To the south, goblins. Lovely. What do we got here? Bandit tax paid in full. Let's do it. Although some might argue that tax collection is a greater affront than banditry, brigands impersonating tax collectors are undoubtedly the worst of both worlds. Ensure that no more fall prey to the roaming gang's guile and force them to pay the ultimate price. Okay, cool. We get to legally kill the tax man. Perfect, let's do it. I gotta say, I, I feel like warriors probably change the least out of any of the jobs, but like, something about it, you know? All it really got is like, another big hit, but it just feels great. The fact that these guys are running away alive tells me this might be some kind of chain. Reminds me of those weird elf dudes from, uh, Lakeland. Ah. I'm getting shield bashed? Man, it just... <laughs> something about that. It just feels great every time. Yeah, I think one more of these guys and we're done. Alright, there it is. Date with Destiny 1. 
five points. <laughs> ah, sick. Did it actually count toward my total? It did, okay. Wonder who's got the highest achievement score in the, uh, the media tour. I've been distracted. If I would realized I could be grinding achievements this whole time, I would have gotten so much higher. Let's see, though. It's not too late for us. I've got a little bit of time left. I might still be able to farm this out. Honestly, I'm not so sure. The amount of limitations on, like, no crafter gatherers, that would have been easy points. All we've really got are hunt marks, fate events, and the dungeon. But I definitely don't have time for eight more runs for the dungeon achievement, so that's definitely not happening. I might have to shop around for B ranks. That might be my best bet if I want to get another achievement before this thing ends. But if they're the same models as the default enemies, they're going to be a little bit harder to spot. It might be a good time to just uh, fly around and take in the sights. I haven't really explored much of this zone. I've seen a lot of the other one. I like these big tree houses. It reminds me a little bit of the Silflins. There's a handful of random uh, tree houses out there that you can just fly up to and hang out on. And I love little stuff like that, you know? Especially on Crystal, because there's so many RPers, you actually run into people in places like that. No, I forgot I was supposed to look around uh, one more time at the main city. It definitely looks like more uh, visually dense, I will say, though, even compared to like any city zone in Endwalker. Just the level of detail on everything and the sheer number of details. It's just a lot more lively. Nah, I only have one sprint button. Hold on. Let me get back on Scholar. There we go. Oh my goodness, it just keeps going. <laughs> I can't wait to see what this place looks like when it's like full of players. Wow. I gotta say, I really like the sheer scale of the architecture here. It definitely uh, feels big. It's like uh, Alamigo as an actual city. That's kind of the vibe I get. Like that one little section of map we got of it on the locks, you know, like that uh, quarter of it or whatever. It really just projects a sense of scale, but uh, since it's on an overworld zone, you know, there's not that much in there. But this is like, uh, if that were extrapolated out, it's just huge. Elsebe Ironheart. Feels like an awfully specific name. Welcome to Tyrell. Thanks, Elsa B. Yeah, this is just a kind of a lookout post. Wow. Bite a brick. The Goblin Suite. This is where uh, Alphano and Alice have to sleep. The gnarly goblin twin beds. This looks awful. Oh, wow. That's, uh, that's the dirigible landing down there. I spy somebody. I'm glad there's no uh, gates. No baby gates to stop me from getting on the roof. <laughs> ah, glorious. All right. Looks like we are down to the wire here. It's nice to get a little sightseeing tour of the place, but I've uh, pretty much got nothing left to do but decide how to spend my last 20 minutes here. And then begins the long wait for early access. Let's get back out into the uh, field zones, I think. I'm still holding out hope that I'll uh, bump into another A rank or something. I mean, considering how long it took us to kill the first one, I don't know if we'll even still be able to do it. But I want to believe there's more out here that I just haven't found yet. Maybe we've passed our six hours. A rank respawn cooldown. Let me ask my buddy Gunu Hanu. Have you seen any A ranks? No, of course not. What do they say about the definition of insanity? You know, doing the same thing and expecting different results? I don't know why, I just keep flying around these zones. I could probably be making better use of this time, you know, learning the new jobs and whatnot, but uh, that sounds like it would actually be useful and practical, and so that is exactly what I'm not going to do. <laughs> Instead, I'm going to look for hunt marks. I will say I'm surprised, though. I uh, didn't think that, uh, well, I didn't really know what to expect. I've never done the uh, media tour before, but I didn't think we were going to get uh, two zones and a city. I thought it was just going to be like one overworld zone. And so the fact that we got two entire zones to explore is really cool. Though I almost wish it had just been one zone because then I'd probably have a better, better luck shopping for random hunt marks. But uh, yeah, this just has been really cool. I'm just uh, more than anything uh, excited to see what the remaining zones are going to be because I bet something is going to come out of left field. I just know it. I mean, usually the final zone of an expansion is something unexpected anyway. Like uh, the Tempest, for example, nobody would have predicted that one. Uh, ooh, oh, I found a B rank. Let's, uh, I think Warrior's still probably my best bet. Maybe Gunbreaker for the damage. Let's see if I can take this guy out. Yeah, that's the kind of burst we want. I feel like I could probably solo this on a DPS. He's really not doing that much damage. All right. I forgot we got a three-piece combo on top of uh, this thing, Bloodfest. I never remember the name of that ability. Oh! What do you know, I've already ruined my rotation. It took me 30 seconds to mess it up. Now, uh, 
Gnashing Fang is completely out of sync. <laughs> that would have been better off on Warrior. At least, uh, you basically can't mess that one up. <laughs> That's okay. I think our odds here are pretty good on the Slammer. I think I can afford to drift a little bit. It's probably not gonna set me too far back. There we go. So again, just, uh, just another B rank. Uh, yet again, it seems to share a model with, uh, just a regular enemy. But we didn't come out here for a B rank. Uh, let's see what else we can find. We're going on a jungle adventure to see what we can see. No, oh, here's our fish boat. Gotta love that. It is a fish-propelled boat. And I guess, like, it's still better than a Talos, you know? But there you have it. They'll do anything to not invent an engine. They'd rather put a magic halo around that boy and have him propel the boat. We've got airships, we've got dirigibles, our boat is powered by a fish. And then you know what? He's glorious. Oh no, they're kicking me out. I think our quest for another S rank, or A rank at this point, is uh, probably pretty much hopeless. Let's just uh, go for another quick dive. I'm always very curious about the underwater scenery because ever since Stormblood, they haven't really done a whole lot with that. And there was a couple of diving points in Shadowbringers, but nothing like the Salt Lake underneath Alamigo, you know? So I'm really hoping we get some more undersea life like that, but uh, this place is pretty cool. Look at all this. Somehow I just, I don't know, I'm addicted to looking around. The zones are just so nice looking. It's fun just exploring. I can't wait to see uh, how all this gets utilized. Like what the side quests are looking like, uh, quest chains in general. No. Nah. I thought that was a hunt mark, it's just a regular enemy. Places like this, you know, it's just, I know there's a story here, but we won't know what it is until we get to play it. That's gonna be it though, I think that is probably all the time I'm going to have. They're gonna kick me out of here in about five minutes. I'm gonna head back to Tulialal and bring this thing home. So how was our achievement progress? Well, it looks like today we got two achievements. To crush your enemies one and date with destiny one for a total of ten points. Pretty incredible stuff. I actually, I, I think this one was already on the character, because these are shared characters, so whoever was here first, I think it was Lama Todd, apparently already killed a hundred enemies. So only one of these achievements is technically mine, but I'm glad we were able to get at least one. It wouldn't feel right if I didn't. Lo and behold, in a ten hour session, I can in fact get ten fates done. So we managed to walk away with something. That's pretty nice, but uh, no achievement currency though. Very tragic. No certificates. Jonathan is going to have to eat his heart out. I'm not going to come see him anytime soon. <laughs> I click recommended achievements. It wants me to do Gunhilder's Blade. Yeah, sure thing. But, but yeah, this was uh, this was good fun, though. This was really good fun. I'm very, very glad I got to do this. Honored, really. Uh, more than anything, I just uh, can't believe I got invited to this. I really look forward to playing all this when it officially releases. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I think that's going to be all the time I've got. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the heck out of here. So uh, we'll see how many videos I actually end up producing out of this. <laughs> I think there are better minds than mine working on, you know, guides and rotations and whatnot, so I mostly just came here to meme around, and I'm glad I got the opportunity to do that, so yeah, definitely looking forward to the expansion. Then that's all I had time for. It was an absolute blast participating in this event, and I'm very thankful for the opportunity. I had tons of fun messing around in this Dawn Trail preview, and it's made me even more excited for the full expansion. Meeting so many members of the community team, and even Yoshi P himself was such a cool experience that I can still hardly believe it happened. Anyway, this video covers everything I did inside the test build of the game, but there was more to the event than just the gameplay preview. I plan to cover other aspects of the media tour in separate videos, which I should be producing soon. I know I'm running a week behind everyone else, but watch this space for more fun content. For now, I have to get back to the editing dungeon and grind for countless more hours to make that happen. One like equals one hour. Okay, bye.